back and we 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 back hey this ain't no welcome back to another video guys today I have a very big issue on my mind and I was kind of talking about it with a couple friends of mine at work the other day and and sorry about the noise in the background like I said I don't got a new camera yet don't have a new microphone yet can't avoid the background noises but I have an issue I've been growing up and watching the same players for the last I don't know let's say close to 15 20 years now right for the last I don't know how many years and for those last 15 20 years I've been watching the same guys and by the same guys I mean I've been watching the LeBrons I've been watching the Currys I've been watching the Brady's I've been watching now the Mahomes and stuff like that, right? So here's the thing. Over the last couple of years, we've all had these players who we've grown up watching, right? Like for baseball, when I grew up watching the A's, I was watching Eric Chavez, I was watching Miguel Tejada, Barry Zito. I was also watching a lot of Griffey for basketball. I was watching a lot of Kobe, a lot of LeBron and football. I mean, I was, if I wasn't watching the Raiders, I was don't know what I was watching, but you know what? There was always a lot of Tom Brady's, a lot of Jerry Rice's and stuff like that. and. And it gets me wondering, a lot of these guys are old now. <laughs> uh, Tom Brady's 43 years old. LeBron is 34. Curry is in his 30s now. And it gets me to wonder. We always talk about the face of the franchise and the, and the face of the sport and the face of the world and stuff like that. And for example, like we have the face of football. We have Tom Brady right now who is like GOAT status, right? Six rings has done stuff no quarterback has ever done. People say it's because of the coach. People say it's because he's actually that good. And it's like... It's, it's just GOAT status, right? 43 years old, six rings, wants to play so he says this is 45 or 50. LeBron, same thing. Been playing since he was 18 in the league. Now he's 34, won some rings. He's been around for a really long time. And it's like, what do we do now? In baseball, I don't see, I don't really think we have a face of the league at the moment. In baseball, you could say, honestly, it might be just because it's a regional thing. And what I mean by that is the regional, the regional bias, it's like, you live in New York, so of course you favor a lot of the New York players. You favor the uh, Aaron Judges and the Stantons. If you live in SoCal, you favor the Dodgers and the Angels and the West Coast, stuff like that. Like You follow the players basically in your area. You're not really worried about big picture. And it's got me thinking, has all sports become that now? Because if you think about it, the likes of now in baseball because it's such a big sport but because it takes so long and there's so many different players you don't really know who to keep track of and that's not really baseball's fault i mean a lot of people aren't really paying attention to baseball nowadays which kind of sucks because i'm a big baseball fan i love baseball I follow baseball at the moment we have mike trout probably going to become the best player of all time to play if he keeps going the way he's going but he's not publicly known really you could go up and ask anybody and show them a picture of mike trout like hey who is this guy right here they wouldn't know, honestly. I honestly don't think they would know. For basketball and football, on the other hand, though, I feel like it's completely different. You walk up to somebody, show them a picture of LeBron, they know who that is. You walk up to somebody, tell, show them a picture of Brady, they know who that is. And the thing is, what are we going to do if these guys are gone? Brady's going to turn 45 in a couple years. LeBron's going to turn 35 at the turn of the season. And they're getting ready to retire soon. It's like, what do we do now? For football, I mean, yeah, we have Mahomes coming up, but two years in, he's the reigning MVP. No doubt, probably one of the fan favorites at the moment because of what he can do. But is he the next guy? We also do have Baker Mayfield. We also do have OBJ. Those guys aren't as accomplished as the rest of these guys. I mean, Baker Mayfield, he has some good quotes here and there. He just talks a lot on social media, and he gives you good feedback. But at the same time, it's like he hasn't done anything. OBJ, same thing. Baker Mayfield's uh, teammate. Hasn't done much, has been in the playoffs maybe two times, but doesn't do much. But because of social media nowadays, players now can become faces of franchises and faces of leagues because they're so publicly marketed, but at the same time, can they be marketed by their own league? Like, how are you going to market Baker Mayfield so soon when he hasn't really done much? Which is why you could publicly market Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes has won an MVP already. He's a gunslinger. He throws over 50 touchdowns in a season. He's doing pretty well this season so far. So you could probably see yourself following this guy for the the near future and probably the, the longer future with the likes of uh, Brady leaving the league soon, uh, Breeze, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, and a whole bunch of other quarterbacks who are just making their way out and we're transitioning to this new breed. But a lot of times it's just like it's the face who's always 
there, pretty much. Mahomes is currently that face that's kind of just there. And in basketball, that face that's always been there has always been Jordan in the 90s, Kobe and Shaq in the early 2000s, and now it's LeBron in the 2000s with a little bit of KD, a little bit of Steph in there. But at the same time, it's, what are you doing now? Like, what are we doing after LeBron? LeBron's 34. Give him another two years, and that might be it. He's always said he wants to play with his son, but at the same time, his son's got maybe another three years left before he even hits uh, college, and then he has to wait one more year. So four years before he makes it into the league, do you think LeBron's really going to want to stick around until he's 38 and just bouncing around from team to team, just happy to be there? I don't think so. So now we have Zion Williamson, who is this freak of nature, the next LeBron, supposedly, but we can't really rely on him to be the next face of the league because he hasn't done anything yet. It's his, it's his rookie year. We've seen him in, in college. And that's the thing nowadays, where because of social media, they blow these guys up. I don't know what's wrong with her, but she won't get me down because it is Taco Tuesday. Instagram, Snapchat, like it just blows these guys up. They become the faces of the league before even doing anything. But And that's the issue, honestly. We're following these players who haven't done much or who have just who just speak louder to get noticed, but at the same time it's just there's nothing there really. There's just no there's nothing to support them. For basketball, I mean we have Kawhi Leonard now who's a multiple time champion, super quiet guy, super underspoken, doesn't do much, shows up and gets his work done, but at the same time it's like how do you follow a guy like that? You can't market a guy like that because he's not really out there. And that's this that's the issue with baseball. Mike Trout and Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. are probably the faces of the league at the moment just because they're so young, they're so up and coming with Ronald Acuna. Mike Trout, probably the best player in the league. But you can't really market them because they're they're in a sport that's really more regionally known than it is nationwide. I mean, like I said, with the A's right now, yeah, I do follow the A's and I do follow a lot of other teams in the in baseball, but at the same time, it's like I always have my favorites here at the A's. Like, I follow Matt Chapman, I follow Matt Olson. You tell a guy in Baltimore about them, they're not really going to follow them all that much because they're not publicly known. And I can't even name three guys off of Baltimore at the moment, but you go to somebody who lives in Baltimore, they'll tell you everything about them. Same thing. If you live in the Pacific Northwest and you live in, the, in somewhere in the Southeast, it, it's just a regional thing. You don't really get that all that often. And that's the same thing with sports in general nowadays where I think because of social media, you're keeping up with more in your region. You're keeping up with your teams on social media so you get to know them more. But at the same time, you could also kind of pick out players here and there who are getting more nationwide coverage. You're getting a lot of the Mahomes. You're getting a lot of the LeBrons. You're getting a lot of the Zions. But at the same time, is it is that such a good thing? Do we really want to rely on Zion being the next face of the NBA when really he hasn't done much or what if he has a bad season or what if he just he's just turns out to be a flop in general how like how can you market that as the face of your league as the face of your franchise like keep in mind what if Zion isn't the guy who then who is the guy is it Giannis is it really Kyrie Irving is it Kawhi Leonard like who who is the guy who's the guy in basketball and baseball Besides Ronald Cunha and, and besides Mike Trout, for me, I don't really know that there is a guy. There is Javier Baez, who honestly is one of my favorite baseball players right now. But is there is it is he well known? Is he like a Griffey who had his own video game, his own shoe, who you could put his face out there and you know who that is? Like a Barry Bonds or something? With football, if it's not Mahomes, then who is it? I don't think it could be OBJ. I don't think it can be Gardner Minshew because, I mean, Gardner Minshew's only had four games in his whole career and he's already blowing up everywhere. I mean... Imagine, what if this guy actually does something and he does become a new face? Do you really want Uncle Rico to be the face of the NFL? I mean, keep in mind, guys. I mean, a lot of this stuff will take time to develop. We will find an eventual new face of each league. But it's kind of trippy to think about it, honestly. You grew up watching your guys. Like, right now in basketball, I, I'm... Mind you, for basketball, it took me a while to get into basketball. I did watch the Warriors earlier when I was growing up, but I wasn't paying attention to it. I was a really big soccer fan. I was a really big football fan, so I was paying attention uh, to a lot of that. So, for me, I grew up watching a lot of LeBron. I grew up watching a lot of Steph, a little bit of Kobe here and there up until his retirement. But it's like, after that, who do we have next? I mean... It sucks going forward because you you really think that these are the guys you grew up watching and they're not going to be there anymore. Like, that sucks. Like like I said, I watch soccer a lot. I watch a lot of Messi and I watch a lot of Ronaldo. But these guys are in their 30s now. The next World Cup rolls around, Ronaldo's going to be 36, where uh, Messi's going to be 34, 35. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. Let's pump the brakes here. I think we're at that moment right now where 
instead of comparing these guys one to another, instead of comparing Patrick Mahomes to Tom Brady, instead of comparing Messi to Ronaldo, I think we should just appreciate these guys while we still have them, honestly. I don't think we're in that right space in mind to be thinking like, hey, this is the best guy ever, this is the best guy ever, or forget who you like, or this guy's way better than this other guy. Like, well, can we just take a minute? Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Can we breathe for a minute and just say, you know what, Messi, Ronaldo, two of the best to ever do it, I think we should stop comparing them and trying to put one over the other. And I think we should just appreciate that they're still here. We're getting in that place where father time is undefeated and these guys' careers will end pretty soon. And at that time, and at that time we're like just stuck there on the corner thinking, ah, what do we do now, pretty much? What do we do when Messi's gone? What do we do when Ronaldo's gone? Luckily, there's a lot of those fresh faces at the moment in soccer. We can actually pick somebody out. We have the Killian Mbappes. We have the Eden Hazards. We have a lot of different players coming up through the ranks that, you know, you could, you could pick somebody. Like, for example, the Killian Mbappe. Killian Mbappe is only 19, 20 years old. We're going to have another 13, 15 years of this guy. Patrick Mahomes, another young guy. We're going to have another 10 to 15 years of this guy, too. But can he be consistent? And the biggest thing is consistency. In order to be a face of a franchise and the face of a player, you have and the face of the league, you have to be consistent. You can't just be the face of the league one year when it comes to, like for example, like Baker Mayfield, who came out of nowhere last year, led the Browns to, what was it, I believe, like a 8-9 eight and, eight and nine with one tie or something like that record, and... They were perfectly happy with that because they haven't had something like that in so long. But can you really depend on somebody with a losing record to be your face of the franchise or your face of the league? I don't know, guys. Honestly, I'm in that mindset right now where I'm just like, man, what do we do now? Like, these guys are leaving soon. Tom Brady's going to be gone in a few years, and we're going to be stuck trying to find his replacement. I mean, at least they have a more obvious case where Patrick Mahomes is going to be the guy, honestly. I honestly do think Patrick Mahomes is going to be the guy. In basketball, it's like, it's a crapshoot, honestly. You could pick out somebody in the name. You could pick out a name in a box and say, you know what? This is gonna be the new face of the. Uh, this is gonna be the new face of the league. Oh, is this your king? Huh? Is this your king? And you will have some debates on that. For baseball, I mean, there's always gonna be a debate. There's always that regional bias. There's always gonna be regional bias in every type of sport. Social media is gonna blow these guys up out of proportion at most points and really just make you think like this is going to be the next guy like this is the guy we should be paying, uh, paying attention to and i know it might just be clickbait for you to catch your attention and for you to want to focus on this one player but at the same time do you really want to focus on a garter Minshew even though he's only been in the league for five weeks or do you really want to focus on the guy who came up from triple a that one time and he hit three home runs in one game and then never heard of again no, you want a guy who's going to be there for the long haul. You want consistency. You want winners. And because of sports being so competitive nowadays, honestly, it's going to be a long time since we find a winner. But let's just find a guy. Let's just find the guy right now. I'm the guy. Stop saying you're the guy. We all know that you're not the guy. He's not the guy. <laughs> I mean, Jordan was the guy, Griffey was the guy, LeBron is the guy, Mahomes is going to be the guy, but we got to find more of them. we got to find more guys. We can't just depend on one or two players to lead this league. We need players. We need Saquon to step up and do something and stop getting hurt. We need OBJ to stop being a drama queen and do something and stop being a drama queen, you know? We gotta stop this this whole debate on who's better. Can we just admire player? Can we just admire players while they're still here, please? Let's make an effort, watch more sports, get everybody involved. Let's find a face of the franchise. Let's find a face of the league, and let's hope they stick around for a little bit longer. I hope Zion Williamson does actually become a new face of the league because you know what? The Pelicans deserve it. They have a good young team coming up. And he might be the next LeBron, even though he kind of already is as big as LeBron, but I don't know, guys. I'm kind of in that moment right now. We gotta find something going here. We gotta get something going. <sighs> well, until next time, guys. I am the Concerned Sports Fan. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, share the video, guys. Come on, let's get your friends and family involved. Let's get to that 100 mark, all right? This is video three of 10 that I said. If I made 10 videos, I would get a new camera. So let's keep going. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it going. 
Let's go. Bye.